Assalamu alaikum viewers to our next episode of Muslim Spain. We will be visiting Medina Zahra and a walk around the old city and the surroundings of the Great Cordoba Mosque in this episode. We will be visiting the mosque itself in the next episode. We hope you enjoy this video and share it with your friends. If you do, please like, comment, share and subscribe and do not forget to comment in the section below. Yes, this is a philosopher. Uh, a theologian, a philosopher, a philosopher. We are ready to check out now and actually what we're going to do is go to one and a half hour from here. So let's see what we get to. Here is a car. We will go to the back and keep it open. Let's go. <laughs> he sits in the passenger seat thinking he's going to drive from there. Here is a left hand driver. Crazy. The reason we are traveling quite heavy is because we don't know what we are going to do. Are we going to go back home in 10 days or are we going to go into another country? So we had to be prepared. We had to be prepared. So we didn't even know if they'll have washing machines or not to wash the brain. But I have done washing. So I got a lot of apartments. I feel like the apartments are cheaper because of the COVID. Not many people are coming and visiting. So they put the prices down. So maybe if we come in in the days, we may not be able to get these uh, apartments. That's the motorway. I don't know why this motorway, na? while we are driving, it reminds me of Pakistan, but the service stations are a disappointment here. Really bad service stations. You probably wouldn't get anything. Building with a restaurant, which is not even that kind. There's a petrol if you need is enough. Not exactly like Pakistan, but a lot of it does remind me of a bit like that. Like these kind of buildings. It's like the Punjab me up here, though, ke baas se guzare ho. Choti choti buildings kahin kahin pe hoti hain. So, abhi we're just reaching our destination it's the outskirts of the Cordoba uh, called Al Medina Al Zahra yeah. Al Zahra uh, it's um, the ruins of the first uh, Umayyad city yeah. Umay um Umayyad museum map the or first Khalifa of Spain unke unka mahal aur uski wo ruins wagaira honge and we'll see what it is so we have just reached the entrance, let's see. So we, we are a bit too late to go inside. It's a museum and some film, I think. And but then there's some stuff outside which we can see. So the eight ticket up bus melani paregi to go outside and have a look. And under ki jo cheeze hain uske liye idhar tick kar lete hain. Wo kehti hai aap we are too late. We can come back eight o'clock in the evening till ten. Ten or twelve. Twelve. In the morning it is eight p.m. Eight a.m. till twelve. Eight p.m. Eight p.m. Eight p.m. Oh, so it's not not open all day. No. That's a bit weird, really isn't it? So oh, this place reminded me of the Stonehenge. Okay. So the bus is coming in another 20 minutes because this one is over here so we'll probably be waiting a while. Let's see. Hello. 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 So here are the benches for waiting for this. 
अगर हम अंदर जाने की बजाय सीधे बस पे आते ना तो वी शुड है बस बस नॉट मैटर सो देर अव बस विल बी गेटिंग इन टू ये The important deposit of Medina Al Zahra is found at about seven kilometers from the city of Cordoba. Visiting it is considered essential for all those interested in the Hispanic Muslim legacy in city of Cordoba and by extension in Al Andalus. The history of Medina Al Zahra starts with Abdul Rahman the 3rd and his decision to build a city in the outskirts of Cordoba between the years 936 and 976. City that is conjunction will unite the administrative and residential task of the khilafa this is zara wikipedia pe check karke bataiye kitne 100 saal purana hai wahan pe mujhe aisa information mein likha hua tha mujhe yaad nahi rehta maine kya padha hai but guys that is इसके बाकी महलों की तरह गए इसे भी ज़्यादा प्रिजर्व किया हुआ होता तो मुझे नहीं पता कि ये जल्जले की वजह से या ध्यान नहीं दिया गया इस वजह से ये सारा इस हालत को पहुँचा है डिजाइन या फिर सिटिंग ये डाइनिंग टेबल है ओके फिर ये जाता है शुरू में मैंने एक दिखाया था बेडरूम नंबर वन ओके एंड दिस इज बेडरूम नंबर थ्री सो द किड्स कैन हैव देयर ओन बेड द बाथरूम राइट एंड दिस इज द लिटल किचन सब कुछ है माइक्रोवेव ओवन हम यूजली नहीं यूज़ कर रहे हैं क्योंकि अगर इन चीज़ों में टाइम लगाएंगे आपको बहुत कुछ है जैसे वॉशिंग मशीन इज अस कैस वॉट दे डू हैव ओवेल्स एंड मिक्स वगैरह आई कैन स्टिल मेक समथिंग इफ आई लाइक खबर विद ऑल द क्लीनिंग प्रोडक्ट्स इन इट इसी है आई डोंट नो इफ दे है आइन so i'm going to go and sit on this chair aisi chair chahiye abbu ke liye easy to sit on and easy to get up welcome to cordoba hello what is up welcome to cordoba guys we are finally here i mean we've been here for a bit but we just didn't record much of it but i mean uh, yeah we're coming over to this castle thing uh, Yes, yeah, literally right next to our apartment. Like yeah, literally a twenty second walk away. Yeah, there were like a billion yeah, so, poker stops as well. Yeah, there's like a three billion thousand poker stops here. So if you guys still play Pokemon Go, I mean, yeah, it might, it might be a good place to go. Yeah, 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 I know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be showing you guys around. Scenic little Instagramic Instagram. Okay. But yeah, it actually looks very nice though. You can take some nice photos with some of these flowers. Yeah. Still 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 okay, yeah, we're gonna take some photos, so we'll be back. <laughs> Yes, this is a philosopher. Uh a theologian, a philosopher, a philo- you know, a scholar, I don't know. You never heard of Averroes? 1542. It says Marrakesh 1198 on there. Ya zikru al-Qawama bin Madina al-Qawban. Tunis wa Madina Qurtaba 2009 to 19. 1968 to 2009. Yeah, there's a little pond here. Oh, well, that's nice, I guess. Is it salt in there? Maybe. Who knows? Looks like it. Is it one of them? Is it one of salt with the double? 
यहाँ पे है कोई ऐसे कि सॉल्ट वाला हो बोते वाला एंड इट वाला Yeah, there's some like weird stuff in it. It's salt, I think. Yeah, maybe. Therapeutic. Is that like the old oh, old city? It's a city, I can feel it. I'm the girl, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, the Kila Fata Karan or Kila Ke Andar Pura Shahar hota. That's what it is. Yeah, this is like some sort of old city place. It does look very nice. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the streets. It's so narrow. I yeah, I know. Maybe the old Arab Jewish living with the Arab quarter and Jewish quarter, something like that. It's like you know when you go to Morocco and Medina, uh, or the old city, like that's how they used to be. Yes. And secondly, because it creates a shade as well, the houses are more closer. You feel less hot. Oh. The, the, the houses actually. I didn't know. Five minute walk. So wait, is it a cathedral or is it a church? It's a cathedral. Okay. So yeah, it was originally a mosque. And uh, the cathedral now is called Mesquita. Is that what it is? Mos Mosquito. Mesquita. Mesquita. It's a Spanish name for mosque. Yes, yeah, Spanish so name for mosque. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's very interesting. Pretty sure we found a halal restaurant. So we found some jewelry. It doesn't look very appealing to me, mum. It looks too too much. Explain what they are then. No, they have Islamic designs on them. We're at another jewelry store. Looking at these. Mm -hmm. I, I like those. Those white ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm pretty sure they're very Asian, that's why I like them. Mm, they are probably Asian. Guys, it's the mosquito. The mosquito is here. What do you have to say? We are outside the Great Mendoza Mosque. This is what we know that the Lama Iqbal is the most famous for this video. And so I've just got a little article from the internet about this and how the Lama Iqbal's feelings were. So I'm going to read a bit of it. It's very long. I'm not going to read it all. In 1933, Iqbal visited Spain and also went to see the Mosque of Cordova. It was not an ordinary sightseeing trip by a tourist interested in our ancient monuments, but a pilgrimage to an outstanding symbol of faith by a faithful believer and a warm heart dead poet. It was a pilgrimage of love and loyalty by a celebrated Muslim to pay homage to the spiritual legacy of Abdul Rahman al Dakhil and his companions. سلسلہ روز و شب اصل حیات و ممات سلسلہ روز و شب تار حریر دو رنگ جس سے بناتی ہے ذات اپنی قبائے صفات سلسلہ روز و شب ساز ازل کی فغاں جس سے دکھاتی ہے ذات زیر و بم ممکنات تجھ کو پرکھتا ہے یہ مجھ کو پرکھتا ہے یہ Silsilae Rose of Shab Kats going out for Khala Mom and the As Road Post Office They are the two people we always send the postcard to so. Thank you guys for watching this video If you really did like it make sure to uh, like, comment and subscribe uh, Please share with your friends and family as well as it means a lot to us and uh, it will get more viewers and things um, They could like the same thing as you as well We've got the next episode coming out on Wednesday, so keep a lookout for that and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.